Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing well. We are back with another episode of how to make a Minecraft server from scratch. And uh, last time I talked about a poll that I made on my community tab where you guys could vote for what kind of server that you wanted me to make. Uh, so th let's go, let's go check it out. Let's see here. Uh, so we've got 57% of the 77 votes we've got is for survival. Now, uh, keep in mind, I have read all the comments, but there's just so many people who want a survival server. So I, get, I guess I'm doing a survival server. All right, uh, fair, fair. We're doing a survival server. Let's get into it. So first off, I just want to download some plugins that I know I'm going to use. Um, and I'm here on the control panel on Minehut and I'll go to plugins and let's download a few. So let's download World Edit, World Guard, Script, of course. Let's see, where's the the real one? Here it is. Essentials X right here, and Lock Perms. And there we go. Now I'm just gonna run a quick restart. I might download more plugins throughout the series, but this is just what I'm starting with. This is what I know I'm going to use. All right. So the next thing that we'll probably need for the server is a spawn. Uh, so yeah, I, I think I'm just going to build a spawn. Also, I want to add that I'm sorry for the wait on this video. I'm busy with studies at the moment. So videos are coming out slowly, but steady. All right. So yeah, let, let's get on with the video. All right, so let's watch a time lapse that I've made of me building a random spawn. Keep in mind that I'm not the greatest builder. Probably many of you guys are thinking right now that you can do this much better than me. And to be honest, you're probably right. Um, but this is just, I just wanted a little spawn. It's nothing special. That's not the purpose of the series uh, to make a good spawn. It's just something uh, we need for the server. Anyway. I guess I should explain what I'm doing. So in the top right corner, I'll put commands and what, what commands I'm using right now. So I'm using a brush for most of this. Um, I start with applying a brush to an item. The first one for the spheres is just a slash slash brush sphere sand and then the radius of your sphere. And then I'm also using the brush CYL to make like a flat cylinder with sand. And keep in mind, you also need the G mask air. So I only edit the air blocks and I don't destroy anything I already built. Now for the mountains, I'm still using the sphere and I'm just kind of drawing with them. You just got to do what you think looks good. Basically, it's uh, it's hard to tell you what to do exactly on this one. Actually, in the end, I wasn't too happy with this spawn, so I am going to end up doing something else. But I still want to show you guys how you can make the spawn this way. So I'm going to show you this one anyway. Right now, I'm just fixing everything up, destroying some blocks with my hand and still using the cylinder command to just make the mountains look a bit more realistic and not so blocky. You basically want to hide the fact that the mountains are made with world edit and try to make them look like something, you know, just naturally made. All right, so now I'm going to change everything to being stone instead of sand. And the way you do that is you're going to mark the whole area with pos1 and pos2. And then you run this command, which is uh, replace sand and then whatever blocks you want. You can put a comma between the blocks in order to list more blocks that you want to use. Then I'm using a new brush in order to draw dirt onto my mountains. And I'm also going to use a new mask to make sure that I only change the blocks that the mountains are made of.
Here I'm just doing a little command to change all the dirt to grass blocks and I'm also going to use an overlay command in order to put some tall grass on top. And then we've got some fine looking mountains. So yeah, as I said before, I'm going to end up doing something else than this. So uh, let's just jump straight to that. First off, I'm using the up command in order to place a block in the sky. And then I'm just making a floor with stone and I'm just doing some walls with some green terracotta. Next up, I'm just building a little spawn area, just a square in the middle with some details. And then I'm going to start detailing the floor. I want it to be kind of a pattern with like four paths onto each side and uh, I don't know I'm, I don't know if I'm specifically proud of this but this is the pattern I went with and I think it looks all right. In order to make this pattern go all the way around and also save me some time, I'm going to copy the whole thing and rotate it 90 degrees and paste it three times. I had a bit of problems pasting it completely right, but I, I, I got it right in the end. Also, you got to keep in mind when copying and pasting something that when you copy something, it will paste it from the block that you were standing when you copied your thing. Also, when you rotate something, it rotates clockwise. I just want to let you know. So here I'm building a tree out of sponge. And that is because I just think it's easier to build it with another block and then change that block later to the wood type that you want. I'm doing that with this command and then I'm applying some leaves with a brush and a mask. And then I'm just copying and pasting the whole tree around again with the rotate command as we saw before. Then I'm going to add some texture to the sides and actually also some towers and a wall all the way around. I'm using a bit more time on the details on these in order to make them really complex and good looking. And of course, I'm copying and pasting these around as well to make everything so much easier and faster for myself. A bit more copying and pasting and then we are pretty much done. I think this one looks pretty decent. It's very, very basic. Not a lot of stuff going on. I actually also decided here to just change the spawn location a bit, make it a bit taller, stand a bit more out. Um, but that's pretty much it for this spawn. All right, that's pretty much it for the spawn. Um, maybe I should actually copy and paste it in. Give me a second. Bing. Position one. Maybe a little bit more and then do pause two. Cut it. And then let's just paste it on top of this monstrosity. Then paste it. Let's see. 
Boom. We've got a spawn. Oh, we're missing some things, it seems. And, it, yeah, okay. Well, I'm gonna fix this. Don't worry. All right, I fixed everything. Doesn't it look amazing? Look at this spawn. Anyway, I, I think that was uh, that was pretty much it. I see that we're already on like 10 minutes. So uh, I better wrap it up. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. And if you aren't already, make sure to subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. Peace out. <laughs>